Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Let me tell you something, the crypto laws of the United States and the rest of the globe are completely different. Even if I think we're incorrect in a lot of ways, I don't want to spread pessimism. Neither am I trying to sell you a pipe dream. When we consider that XRP and Bitcoin are the only two digital assets that provide any kind of transparency, I can't help but think that things are looking up for Ripple in the future, especially considering all the work they've put in behind the scenes to ensure our success. What I want to discuss in this video, people, is what came out here today. When it gives you a good idea of where we're going, all I ask is that you like talking about XRP, so drop X in the comments, hit like, give us a thumbs up, and share the content widely. We've got good, bad, and everything in between. Inform people of the reality of this digital revolution. Once again, the UK is on the right track, as Justin votes to repeal an SEC rule that barred heavily regulated financial institutions from owning Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But wait, there's more. Rumor has it that Biden has threatened to veto the measure if it were submitted to him. Actually, the UK government just has time to enact stable coin and staking legislation, according to the minister, who made the announcement today. They are confident in the government's ability to establish stable coin and staking regulations, and they plan to introduce legislation in the next weeks, according to their statement made today. Actually, they want to become a crypto hub, and the UK has been pushing the idea for a while now that it needs to jump on the bandwagon or risk falling behind. By the way, Hong Kong Making Moves is also building a community for their wholesale CBDC initiative, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Mr. Man. If you're on Twitter, or whatever, you should definitely follow them. A Sandbox to Facilitate Interoperability between CBDC tokenized deposits and tokenized assets was revealed in March by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, HKMA, which sounds familiar. Project Assemble features new wholesale central bank digital currencies. Take a look at these and tell me which ones sound like they would work with Ripple. Along with AP Visual Technologies and Microsoft Hong Kong, the four banks listed are Bank of China Hong Song Bank, HS, B, C Standard Charter, and Hong Kong Plus Hash Key Group. It is clear that the organization just joined with Ripple. The point of all this, dudes, is to implement tokenization in preparation for their experiment. In conjunction with HSBC. As news of the SEC firing shots at Ripple spreads in the US, we are witnessing breathtaking sights abroad. The long-awaited stable coin that will be tied to the dollar by Ripple has not been released just yet. The US Securities and Exchange Commission, however, remains critical of it despite this. The regulator characterizes the financial product as a new unregistered crypto asset, according to court documents shared by many XRP users. With Judge Torres's ability to reject the SEC's claim that institutional investors ever endured any harm, it is clear that the regulator is at a loss. The XRP Army's prominent pro-XRP lawyer, James Murphy, is discussing this with Meta Law Man, who is attempting to bring up a previous case that the fireman approved when a stock price was formally artificially inflated. In this case, the firemen are claiming that Ripple did this with XRP using automated bots and Ripple executives. I have denied these claims, and both Murphy and Hogan agree that you need to ask the court for permission before citing cases like this. Ripple has yet to respond, so here's hoping the judge notices. They had taken to their heels again and are starting to fall. It appears that they have completely lost this case, and despite their best efforts, nothing seems to be sticking. As we have analysts on staff, I am confident that we will have very encouraging news. Linda Jones claims that XRP is now underpriced and has the potential to make you wealthy for just 52 cents. As we have heard for years, Jones painted a bright picture of XRP's potential as a global reserve currency. However, she did note that the stablecoin legislation that is expected to be passed in 2024 will also serve as a significant driver for XRP. The market is expected to experience significant growth in the next four years, with a value of $3 trillion, as announced today by Ripple. From our current position, that is an incredible 22 times. Bill Gillibrand, alias Loomis, is out there, and you guys remember him. We are now awaiting a response regarding that. 
Not long ago, they expressed their hope to pass that bill in the next weeks during their conversation. I don't want to give the impression that the United States is a completely hopeless place. I think Gary Gensler's days are coming to an end, guys. We all know he's a horrible person and he's screwing up. Even though it feels like a long time, we're actually making great strides every day. We're breaking into the biggest markets, like the stablecoin market, where our transparency and reliability make us the clear frontrunner, unlike Tether, which makes me nervous about the market. If an audit of Tether is to be conducted, I think there might be explosives in that area. In my opinion, the crypto market is going to take a hit if certain things happen, and we would rather not hear or see them. Nonetheless, we examine XRP in the end. And we think, wow, this digital asset is top-notch, one of only two that really shows its value. This is real, you guys, I'm telling you. Yes, this is accurate. Since the evidence is in our favor, they are perplexed as to why the XRP army is so formidable. Everyone is rooting for us. Optimism toward the future has never been higher in me. A complete lack of knowledge characterizes those who would spread the notion that we have entered a bear market. Neither a bull nor a bear market has ever occurred during their lifetime. There are a lot of positive developments on the horizon for our team, but it seems like Gary Gensler and the SEC are mostly male. Once again, this case, the Ripple and SEC case, will deal a devastating blow to Gary. On top of that, the most influential and powerful banks are actively working against Gary Gensler. We must comprehend the strength of a global market since laws are being introduced to regulate it. Since this is a worldwide industry, its strength far exceeds the $2.5 trillion that we observe in the global market. Share your location with me in the comment section below, and together we can bring about this digital revolution for our boys. The video concludes with that. It would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to my channel and like it. Muchas gracias, depart.